Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio. This is for your sun, moon, and rising. Please take the messages that resonate. If the messages don't resonate or, or don't fit, don't make them fit. So this is for April 2020. Tarot is pretty fluid, so it could be the end of March, April, um, leading into May and possibly into June. So let's see what messages Spirit has for Scorpio. All right, so we're starting off with Crown Chakra. So some of you may be, you know, focusing on uh, meditation, um, aligning your chakras. If you do find any uh, blockages, you know, you could look into um, a guided meditation on YouTube. Next, we have movement choices and decisions. So it looks like you guys may be in uh, planning mode, moving forward, expanding. <clears throat> and then next we have intuition. So beautiful. So, you know, this is letting me know that you guys are going to be tapped into your intuition. You know, you're going to be listening to that little voice. Um, some of you guys may be utilizing your angels and your guides. So let's see what messages spirit has. All right, so we have seven of swords. So, you know, with the seven of swords energy, you know, he's packing up his stuff and he's walking out, right? You know, this is a way, a new way of looking at things. This is also getting your ducks in a row, organizing, especially with this movement choices and decisions. This is about you moving forward it could be moving forward with how you think about things um, like an idea it's some type of forward movement in in getting organized getting everything together and i feel like you're getting everything together in regards to your abundance because you have the nine of pentacles here so this is like the garden of eden there is no lack here it's only abundance you know she wants for nothing when in she's you know in this garden all right so next we have the star card so very beautiful energy you know this speaks about uh wish fulfillment healing um any type of questions uh this usually leads to a yes answer what else so there goes the three of wands again that's with the movement choices and decisions you know planning this is the card of action like you're you're ready to move forward your ships are coming in you're expanding some way some shape or form in your life whether it be you know professional um taking a relationship to the next level but there's some type of expansion and next ace of swords so there's some type of new beautiful beginning coming in it brings clarity, um, clear mind, clear thoughts. It's it's a spark of inspiration that's coming in. So for the overall energy is the hangman. You know, the hangman energy, this is a choice that you're making to um, sit and wait and look at perspectives and be very reflective. And I feel like with this energy, especially paired with intuition, you know, you're being patient. You're listening to your, your intuition, to your gut. Then you have the Knight of Wands at the bottom and the Hermit. So I feel like you're going to be going, going within when it comes to your passions, your focus, your creativity, um, because the Hermit is here. You're just, you're allowing your, your light to guide you. So let's see, I'm going to get a few clarifying cards. So what messages do we need to know about the Seven of Swords? So like I said, you know, Three of Wands. So <clears throat> you are getting organized, you're moving forward, you're taking actions. You're, you're ready to move away from, you know, situations that don't serve you. Not only situations, maybe a way of thinking that, you know, may have limited you at one point. You have the Moon card here. So, you know, there may be things in April during this time um, that you're not privy to, you may not have all the answers, but that's okay. Um, when you don't have answers to certain things, 
you know, and research only does so much. You have to go with your gut. You have to go with that, that feeling inside. So let me get a card for Nine of Pentacles. So the Garden of Eden, your abundance, you're working hard, you're focusing, you're dedicated. You know, you are really honing in on your craft when it comes to your abundance. You're not just sitting back. You're, I mean, I feel like April is going to be all about movement, choices, and decisions. You're not just sitting back and waiting for things to fall in your lap. Sorry if you can hear the background noise. <laughs> All right, so with the star card, star card, you have the nine of pentacles. So a lot of times with these repeat cards, it's just spirit confirming. You know, your abundance as far as finances, emotional fulfillment, um, health-wise, just everything in general, whatever, however abundance looks to you, you're getting a yes answer. You're getting some type of wish fulfillment so if you have any goals or you have something in mind you know i'm really feeling like everything is gonna go is gonna uh, work out especially during this time of the environment that we're dealing with with you know COVID 19 there really hasn't been a lot of movement so maybe you will see more movement come uh april so the next for the Knight of, I'm sorry, the Three of Wands, we have the Knight of Cups. So this speaks about, you know, some type of change coming in. Someone's bringing in some type of offer. That's where that action is coming in. Someone's bringing in an offer. They're offering you a cup of, a cup of something that's going to make you feel emotionally fulfilled. This is also known as a cup of love. But whatever is being offered to you by this Knight, it's allowing you to move forward and progress. And I feel like that's that's what you want to do. You don't want to be stagnant. Yeah, because you have the six of swords. So packing up, you know, and, and moving forward, going from choppy waters to smooth waters. This could be a physical move. This could be travel. This could be a way of thinking because you're you're going to receive the clarity. There's no doubt about that with all these swords. It's, it's a lot of a lot of thoughts and a lot of you know, communication with, with the swords. So what about the Ace of Swords? So with the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Wands popped out. So with this newfound new beginning, this new clarity from the Ace of Swords, you have the Ace of Wands. So you have two beautiful brand new beginnings starting. I feel like some of you are going to get a job offer, are going to get a promotion, you know, and if it's not in regards to work, you're getting some type of new beginning that's going to fill you with passion, not only passion, but clarity. It's going to be very clear. And then on the bottom of the deck, seven of swords, it's going to be very clear that you need to move away from whatever energy that you're dealing with. You know, with seven of pentacles, you've planted these seeds. Like I said, you're not just sitting on your butt and waiting around. And there's some type of cycle completion um, that's going to be happening. So very, very beautiful energy. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments how these messages resonate. You know, what kind of movement is coming into your life? What kind of offer? What kind of choices and decisions are you making? So thank you so much for watching my video. All of my contact information is listed below. Sending you all love and light and blessings and till next time.